Hey trackies, welcome back to another video here on TXT Track Time. Please remember to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. Trackies! Bingy lingy 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 lingy! It's the men's 100 meters! It's time to discuss, you know, what our medal prospects will be in this event. But before we get to medals, we have to navigate around them. And guess what? The heat sheets are out for the men's 100 meters. Now, I've yet to look at them. So we'll be reacting to the men's heat sheets, you know, together. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so we all can take a look at the heat sheets. And of course, we can determine, you know, how easy or hard it will be for our Jamaicans to progress. All right. So let's start. All right. So trackies. Y'all should be able to see my, my screen. And right off the bat, in Heat 1, we have Raheem Ford coming up here. Now, personally, I do not believe Raheem Ford will be troubled, you know, to qualify out of this. They take the first three plus the three fastest times to qualify to the semifinals. So off the bat, if you look at, you know, season's best, you can tell that Raheem Ford with his 9.96 is definitely, you know, in for the qualification. However, yeah, the big man is also in this race, Zarnell Hughes, the man that has run 9.83 seconds. So I definitely have Zarnell Hughes walking away with the win in this race. And should I just go for the other person with the, you know, second fastest time author, Cisse from the Ivory Coast? Let's see. Um, You know what? I'm going to leave that third spot up for grabs. As it stands right now, I'm going with Zarnell Hughes and um, Ryan Ford for the two top spots. As it relates to, you know, that third spot, I see a lot of guys in and around 10 seconds. So you never know who could step up. You know, the Nigerian athlete could also step up. So let's see how that goes as well. But, you know, going off... <laughs> Caesar's best, you know, you may see I'm a bit biased to Ryan Ford considering that, you know, him and Arthur CC have run the same time. But yeah, I'm going to stick my neck out for Ryan Ford. Let's see what Arthur CC does. But if anything, those are the three that make it through. But I'm sticking with Zarnell Hughes and Ryan Ford making it through to this heat. But right off the bat, you can see that things are pretty close. So we can't mess around. All right, moving on to Heat 2. All right, we don't have a Jamaican here, but we have Noah Lyles coming up in this one. And it comes up with Ferdinand Omenyala. You know, big guns meeting, Noah Lyles and Ferdinand. I'm excited to see this. You know, Ferdinand has a pretty, I would say, good start. And also, then again, you know, I would say he's an even sprinter. That's what I would say about Omeniala. Doesn't really suffer in any point in his race. But Noah Laz, as we know, does not have a good start. But he has a hella, you know, top end. So let's see what's going to happen with him in this race. But I'm definitely, you know, sticking with Noah Lyles. I will give him the win here. Ferdinand close second. And then we're going to look at Emmanuel Esime. He looks like he could run in for third. But again, track is looking at the times run. Nobody can really mess around in these races because the person's in and around taken in, in and around 10 seconds can also come in and chomp the big guns. Remember, nobody's running impressive. 9.94 this season for Noah Lyles. And even though I've talked about Omniola on that 9.84, you know, he hasn't really, you know, shown that outside of, you know, high altitude Kenya. So let's see um, what he's able to do in this um, heat. But off the bat, as you can clearly see, the, the men will have to run to qualify, in my opinion. Right? And again, don't underestimate the other athletes that, you know, only have one run they'll do something special with that one run you know what i mean all right moving on to heat three off the bat here there are no jamaicans as well crevan Starton lines up interesting we did hear about you know him picking up an injury potential injury at the relay camp for the united states but he's here so i'm interested to see how he, how he um he goes i'm not going to really call this one because it all it all you know banks on you know how crevan charleston in is as it relates to you know how he will do in this race um emmanuel matatadi or Matadi, sorry, you know, is also one to look out for in this race. And of course, from Great Britain, we have Amoa Dadzi. So he is also one to look out for. Those could potentially be my top three. But again, it depends on what Carvon Charleston comes with, you know, on the back of a of an injury that we did hear about. All right. So in Heat 4. Okay, still no Jamaican. <laughs> All right. In Heat 4, where we have Reese Prescott. <laughs> He's the reason one that walked away from the, the 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 team, the Great Britain team. All right, 
this team, I see Reese Prescott, you know, making it through. Um, oh, and we have Sean Masinwan Ghana also in this as well. I see him making it through. Let me look at the other season's best here. Oh, let this let's see Litobogo. How did I miss him? All right, for me taking this race is let's see Litobogo, hands down. And then um in second, maybe Sean Masinwan Ghana. He finished um second behind our Jamaican at the World University Games. So I have him, you know, finishing second, and then I'm gonna give Reese Prescott third. All right, so let's move on. Okay, another Jamaican. We have Oblique Seville now lining up here. All right, things are sticky. He lines up against the big man, the man that said, I'm Fred Curley. If no Lyles is running 9.69, then I'm going to go faster. <laughs> that man lines up here. All right. And of course, Oblique Seville is against him. Then there's also Favor Ash from, you know, Nigeria also in this race. This is going to be a, a, a race that, again, they have to run. They have to run because if you don't run, you may, you know, find yourself on the outside. Personally, though, I do have these three athletes making it through without an issue. I'm going to go with Fred, then Oblique, then Favor Ash. Um, That's my 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 take on this top three. Chuck, is, you, you all can tell me what you think about how you think Oblique will do against Fred Curley. But I have in making it through i hope i get a good execution from him i mean lifting those knees oblique let me see you start knee lifting again um i'm hoping um let's see though <laughs> next up our final jamaican here we have ron watson the man that i have to clinch a medal in this event i definitely have him taking this round without a doubt then we have who else is in this race okay we have terence jones from bahamas i have him placed in second and then i'm gonna go with um i'm not familiar with this colombian um athlete too much but i'm gonna go with him ronald and i'm gonna put him into third place right but anyway rohan watson to me takes this race hands down even with you know sean Mason, um terence going sorry doing you know 991 as well what I'm expecting from Rohan Watson, I do not think he would be troubled to qualify in this race. But let's see. All right. Taking the last heat. Because why not? <laughs> we have Christian Coleman here. Uh, who else do we have? Um, okay. Just Christian Coleman. Let me look at the times. Oh, no. Akani um, Simbina is in this. Um, um, Hiroki um, Yanagata from Japan is also in this. All right. Let me look at the times. Okay, we have this Eric Cardoso from Brazil that's also here. All right, I'm just going to go with, you know, um, Christian Coleman and Akane Simbines. I'm going to go one, two there. Christian Coleman taking it, Akane Simbines second. Anybody else wants to take um, the third spot can. Um, I always keep an eye on these Japanese athletes. They have killer starts, you know what I mean? Or these Asian athletes, they do have killer starts. So they'll sneak in, you know what I mean? All right, Chucky, so that is it. That is it as it relates to, you know, the men's 100 meters. What are your thoughts, you know, in this event? Who do you think will make it into the semifinals? Sound off in the comment section, like the video and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.